Hey fam, I'm over here on LubeTube and this just popped up right here, but uh, I saw that it was, uh, I, I listened to the first few minutes and heard that it was affiliated with an anchor person and that uh, it was an 18 year old right with the coding. So I said, you know, let's take a look at this. The crisis in Chicago with crime takes another victim. And this time it hits close to home. 18-year-old Christian Caldwell was shot and killed Friday morning on Chicago's South Side. He was the youngest brother of our Fox News political analyst, Gianna Caldwell. Now, I'm going to stop that right there because, you know, you can't trust these devil puppets, none of these anchor persons or anything. And I'm sure when they show us who's talking, it's probably a drag man, a man in a wig. And this one here is 18, uh, right on the coding. Uh, sounds like a sacrifice to me, but let's, let's keep listening. Gianna's here. He joins me now. Gianno, um, let me just start by saying, I, I know that all of us- And yes, <laughs> what do we have here on the left? A big wooden headed ass man right here in the wig. And then look at uh, Gianno, what, what, whatever the name of this one is. Do this one look remorseful? Okay, let's keep watching. Us are praying for you and your family's comfort, pa praying for strength uh, as you it faced this just horrific tragedy. Uh, Gianna, what do you know so far about what happened to Christian? Have any arrests been made? Uh, and the name is Christian, uh, and the last name is something with a C, so you CC, and it's 19, and this one relative right here, you know how they sacrifice them. Uh, let's keep listening. Well, first and foremost, thank you to my Fox News family who's ensured that this is a national story and the locals National. have picked it up. The executives at Fox have been so wonderful to me, having me do the local press and allowing me to do the local press to drive tips to the Chicago police. On Friday, my younger brother was standing outside of a venue at 114th Street, mm -hmm. South Vincennes, mm -hmm. when a black SUV pulled up um, Friday morning, mm -hmm. and three to four men, black mm -hmm. men with dreads, got out and they began to shoot. Every okay, three to four men got out uh, for your number seven uh, with the dreads and began shooting. Okay, let's keep listening. Everyone in that particular area, everyone that was in, in that, that section of that venue, right across the street from a church, mind you, three people were hit. Uh, okay, right across the street from a church and three people were hit. Yeah, this is a damn sacrifice right here. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. I'm just saying, I'm just showing y'all how I see shit. All right, let's go. Young lady was hit in the leg, I believe. Another man was hit, and he was rushed to the hospital in critical care and had to have surgery. Mm -hmm. But my baby brother never had that opportunity to right. even be in critical care. Mm -hmm. It heartbreaking doesn't even describe how I feel. Mm -hmm. The fact that I'm even talking to you right now while this is going on is the hardest thing for me. He just died on Friday, and I've been doing press since yesterday and trying to hold it together. Yesterday, I went to plan his funeral. I'm in Chicago right now planning my baby boy's funeral. I'm paying for a funeral for him when... <sighs> It should uh -oh. be the other way around. It should be buried. Okay, wait a minute. It should be tears. It should be tears, and you shouldn't be able to talk. It's your brother, your baby brother at that, uh, that you set out some dread peoples out there to go and shoot them down. Look, this is what the fuck I see, okay? Because where's the sadness and the remorse in this one right here? We better see one fucking tear, just one. You know I mean when that time comes? Not what I'm doing right now today. I'm absolutely heartbroken, and I know for a fact that if the policies in Chicago, the soft on crime policies were reversed, this may be a much different outcome. The criminals do not fear. Okay, can you tell me what in the fuck this one is wiping right here? And what policies were reversed? It sounds like it's getting racial. Let's listen. They do not fear the laws of this land because they know that they're less than likely going to be enforced. And they know that they're less than likely going to be arrested or if they are, they're gonna get out the next day. That needs to change in this city because the soft on crime approach has only created more chaos and murders in this city. There were 24 people last weekend. Of course, 24 for your number six. Who were um, shot five fatally, including a five month old baby who That's was right. shot and killed in the back seat of a car. Jono, have you heard from anybody in leadership in Chicago? 
I've actually have called a lot of folks. I've spoken with state representatives. I didn't call senators, um, congressmen, the whole deal. I've even had my family at the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives where I was a spokesman. Okay, there you go. There you go. He's on the National Executive Law Something of the Blacks uh, Enforcements and every damn thing. Okay, so now it's getting racial. All right. And we got the drag man on the side just quoting numbers out and making sure that everyone is aware of, you know, the fuckery. This is what I see. I'm showing y'all how I see it. And this one ain't shed not one tear yet. And it's the baby brother of this one that died. Tell me how many of y'all can be in the interview and talk when your damn sibling just been gunned down. Just tell me that. Once, reach out to everyone they know because the superintendent of police is a member of that organization. I am pushing this. Oh, okay. So the police is also a member of the organization, what it just talked about. Okay. Hard as I can to ensure that one, the media knows and it's everywhere so people are, they understand that this is important and a priority and that they can drive tips. And I also want to ensure that law enforcement is fully aware and see this as a priority. If my baby brother was not connected to me, if he wasn't my little brother, no one would even know his name. And that's the truth. And I know that to be factual because on Friday night, it was reported on a local station, an 18-year-old dad, two other people uh, uh, shot. That's what, that's what was said. We're not missing that. The only picture they could find to show his brother uh, was the one with the purple shit on him. Okay? Uh, letting everyone know this motherfucker got sacrificed right here. That's what I see. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and showing you what it is okay I don't believe none of this shit that's coming out this one mouth because um, I have a baby brothers you know and I lost a baby brother and there's no way I could be talking calmly when I'm reliving that my baby brother's been gunned down do you understand what I'm saying now people know his name they see his face and I hope that people are and the only reason why people know this one name right here is because you work for the damn Fox Okay, you down with him. You got to let everybody know that you took this one out here. You know what I'm saying? And you're promoting racism, you know, in another blackness organization for the blacks. Okay? On the lookout, or if they know anything, rather to call the police, DM me on Instagram, Facebook. If you know something, tell us, please. We are praying for justice. We want these men who murdered, murdered my baby brother. And this is another one right here, promoting black on black crime, too. Because, of course, there was some dreadlocks that jumped out of the damn car and shot down this one here, brother, right here. Okay? Brought to justice. And I'm praying for it. That's what we want. And Jesus. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, ah! Did this one get ready to do the Jesus? And is we going to see one tear? Hold on name that's what we need so thank you again for allowing me to highlight men who murdered murdered my baby brother brought to justice and i'm praying for it that's what we want in jesus name that's what we need so and that's all we needed to know right there <laughs> you know at jesus or oh, they gonna flow the lines up or oh, they gonna overflow the trap now you didn't mention jesus too the blackness and he acting like you want to cry because that's all you got to do on social media act like you want to cry you ain't got to drop no real tears or really cry just act like you want to cry like this fucker thank you again for allowing me to highlight this story which my baby brother was a comedian he loved life we had a balloon ceremony for him yesterday it was a balloon release is what they call it and i said to the group of almost 60 people a lot of folks from the community my family of course 60 people a balloon ceremony there's probably some fuckery going on with the balloons too you can't trust these devils i said i've never been to one of these before mm -hmm. and when i said that people looked around and said what they were shocked because they do these almost every week that's how often people are dying mm -hmm. living in chicago should not come with a death sentence but it has for so many residents there that must change, and now I'm going to work with the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives and local elected Okay, so this one got to keep promoting that it's with the National Black of the Black of the Blackness of Executives. Okay? Okay, all I hear is fuckery. You can get sad, and you can drop some tears, but all I hear is fuckery when I see this shit right here. That's what I hear. I hear the code in, okay? I see the symbolisms, and I see this fucker ain't dropping out one tear, and this, this one's baby brother. All I see is sacrifice. It just... Is you getting your rewards now? Huh? We should examine some of these soft, soft on crime policies to draft legislation to reverse some of these to prevent instances like my little brother being murdered. So his name.
has value. His name means something. That's what I want for my baby brother. Jenna, tell us more about Christian, what he was like, Christian. what his dreams were. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh, Nate went to Martin Luther King on us. Let's hear, let's hear Christian's dreams. Well, it's so funny because a lot of the people that were there last night, when we were going around and just giving words about him, sharing words about him, a lot mm -hmm. of the people that I didn't know there said a lot of the things that mm -hmm. I'm saying to you now. They mm -hmm. would say he was a bit of a comedian, mm -hmm. kind of like me, and Dagan, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I joke around quite a bit. He was he was a lot of the same of that. He was the light of the room. He was always the big mask. energy in the room. Mm -hmm. And with my baby brother, we would joke around, and I would <laughs> I would joke back with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was just, he was just light, and I think that's one of the best ways of describing my baby bro, Christian. He was a light to all that met him. He was a joy, and he was a light. Okay, yeah, a light for this one to elevate and double them, right? Okay. You know, it's unfortunate that even my grandmother doesn't even want to attend his funeral because she says she wants to. Uh, because grandma know you're doing devil damn work. All right, grandma, that's right. Don't even want to attend the funeral. Probably won't never see her on nothing because she already know this one here is full of shit and is a devil puppet. Uh, kudos to you, grandma. That's right. Don't attend none of their shit. Remember him, how he was. And she doesn't want to see him in a casket. She mm -hmm. cried. I said, no, no, you got to go. You got to go. And she said, no, don't make me. And she was just crying tears. Look at that. I, Trying to make I her understand. ten devil work. A number of my other siblings really don't want to go either. <laughs> Look, okay, we heard it right straight from this one mouth. None of the siblings is down with that devil shit and the grandma Eva. And look what the grandma say, please don't make me go to that bullshit. Right. And y'all stay away too, siblings. Let this devil puppet get this fucker own rewards. But this is where we are, and I have to stand strong for my family, and it's just devastating. I'm here to pay for a funeral for my baby brother. It's insane. And, of course, they'll pay for the funeral, and I'm sure this one's going to set up a foundation in the Christian, uh, whatever, the last CC, uh, the Christians, uh, the 18-year-old. It's going to get a trust fund, a uh, memorial a funding. They're going to have a funding for it, uh, for the blackness that's going to probably be helping out the other part of the blackness with the enforcements. You heard it. Uh, let uh, listening to Mag, we know that's how they do it. They got to have a foundation. They got to have a foundation. All those people who attend your brother's funeral, though, lift you up. Yes. Because yes. people can be there in, in word, but it's so important. Okay, so when we listen to this, let's take the time out to look over here to the left at the throat of this one right here. Because that's a strong-ass man right there in a the damn wig, okay? And this one here on the right looking funny. We can't trust him. That suit is big. It is big. We can see that. Okay? So it's probably a faker too. Important for people to be there indeed. And when people show up. Wait, because look how little that head is. And that suit is extra big. And that's how they do the breastless ones. They put them in big ass suits. So you can hide all of the curves and the shapes and every damn thing. So both of them look to be inverted right there. And look at this one. Is the eyes closed? Okay. It is meaningful. And it doesn't make the hurt go away, mm -hmm. but it um, will give you the strength to take that next step forward. And for okay, it sounds like this one done sacrificed somebody too. So this one is telling this one right here, you, you'll get over that right there. You'll get over that right there, and you can get it further in devildom uh, right now. You'll please more of the devils. Okay, you done killed one? Don't worry about it. This one is encouraging it. Okay. You and your whole family, Gianno, not just remembering Christian, mm -hmm. but the next step forward into mm -hmm. finding his killers mm -hmm. and to maybe righting all the wrongs that the people of particularly the south side of Chicago have felt. Can somebody write the throat of this one right here? OK, I'm just saying y'all devil puppets right there. I mean, y'all know we looking at them. Y'all can't shave down the Adam's apples and stuff and, you know, try to fool somebody. I mean, like this one here. No, devils. No. Yes, absolutely. Last year, by September, murders have gotten so high that it was the highest in a quarter of a century in the city of Chicago. Well, that's probably those boosted ones. <laughs> you know, once they, once they get the boosted level, a sleeper agent deep. Once they get the boosted level, watch your back. Watch your back. When it comes to those vaccinated ones, when they get the booster level, watch your fucking back. They're fully controlled, okay? All right, you heard it here first. <laughs> I love you. This must end. Jenna, we pray for you. Mm. 
please and all day, so every much. day. You know, thank we you can't. So much, we, w we would bring him back if we could. Mm -hmm. but we Trust can't. Me, I would too. But we can. But we can pray that the Lord shepherds you through these times of grief and through these dark days. And do you find... Okay, we, look, we done had enough of that. They done called the Lord with the shepherds and shit and the sheep and shit. Look, all right. Um, I don't know if y'all know about fuckery. If y'all know about devil puppets. If y'all know that they sacrifice their damn family members. Okay? That they throw them right up there and sacrifice them right in front of uh, the wicked family to show that they don't give a fuck and they want to elevate and devil them. That's what's going on. And in the meantime, while they're elevating and devil them, uh, they'll spit that racism shit on you too. To keep us divided because one thing you need to understand about wicked is wicked is united okay they united and fucking us over and we need to be united and standing strong for our creator y'all be safe out here i love you